The Health Monitor in Plesk is a great way to keep track of your overall server health. It's an additional component that needs to be installed, but if you've got it running, you can always keep an eye on how your server is doing overall. These results are of course triggered by alarms and thresholds that you set, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set those. Here we have a Plesk 12 machine that is giving me a problem since the last few days under the Services tab. This is the typical thing that it will flag up, so if your disk usage is approaching 90% or something, you will, you will first see a yellow warning here, and then followed by that you'll see a red warning, which says it's a problem. But if you press this X here, it'll give you a slightly larger version of what's happening here. In our case, it looks like my CPU usage has gone up, uh, and if you hover over this little question mark here, another little window pops up that tells you when these thresholds are set that I, st that I talked about. So in my case, red would be issued if the CPU usage exceeds 25%, and I'm already getting a yellow alert at 20%. This coincides with emails. If you've set it up that way, then you also receive an email every time an alarm is triggered. But really, 20 and 25% is a bit low for the Apache CPU usage, so I'd, I'm happy to hammer my server, and as long as it doesn't go over 90, 95%, I'm happy and I don't really need to be notified. So let's go ahead and change that. If you click this detailed report here, that takes you to another window with even more options. And these things here you can tick. So again, you've got this little X icon here that opens the services or disk or memory, those things a bit more. And if you tick this little box here that gives you the problem, you can have a look what's actually happened there over the last either day or three days or last three hours or over the last week. So let's first check what's happened here over the last week. Granted, the CPU usage has gone up, but it's nothing to be concerned about. If it ever reaches sort of you know this level up here, then I'd like to receive an email. Up here, we can download a configuration file, and that's an XML file. If we click that, that gets downloaded to my browser. And if I amend that, I can re-upload that. So let me just open, uh, show this in Finder. I'm using a Mac here, but of course the principles are the same on Windows. Don't just double-click it because it may open with something you know. It's not really capable of editing XML files. I'm going to use Dreamweaver here just because I love the code highlighting. And the XML file starts off with a few comments that explains how this works in principle. It's a little bit cryptic, so you can read through that. And on the bottom here, after the comments, you'll see the actual XML here. First starts with misc. And these are the values for the total that needs to be exceeded. So remember that in here we have uh, basically a total of, of usage, and then we also have it split down into Apache specifically, mail server CPU usage, MySQL server Plesk CPU usage, and then we have memory usage here. But there's also an overall thing that you see on the home screen. And that's what the top part is all about. Then we have bandwidth here. As these labels kind of half correspond to what you see in Plesk, but you know they don't they don't exactly correspond. So there's bandwidth, RAM, and at some point we get to CPU usage here. And again, we have total usage. Such a block starts much like in HTML with an opening tag called total usage and a closing tag called total usage not what we're interested in, because we're interested in services, which is down here. So this is the, the full services block here. Starts with services and ends with services. Somewhere on the bottom here. There it is. This is where that entire services block ends. And inside that, we see things like CPU time, memory usage, which corresponds to these two blocks here. So this here, the first four, we close this down here, the first four, Apache, CPU usage, mail server, MySQL, and Plesk, that's the CPU time block here. And the bottom block, memory usage, that's those four here. Again, Apache, mail, MySQL, and Plesk memory usage. So we are clearly interested in Apache CPU usage, so services CPU time service name web that's Apache 
So red is issued at 25 and yellow is issued at 20. This is exactly what that little question mark told us earlier. I think I like to set my red to 95 and yellow to 80. And everything else I'm kind of happy with, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna save my file and I'll close Dreamweaver. I'll go back into Plesk and choose the Upload Configuration File option. Navigate to the file that I've just saved, which was this one, and upload it. And there we have it. Out of a sudden, there doesn't seem to be a problem anymore under the Apache CPU usage. Notice that the actual data Plesk has collected over the last week hasn't, of course, changed. It's just the way that Plesk now reacts to how much usage there needs to be for an alarm to be triggered. And on the home page, this is also updated. Great, I can sleep a little easier tonight. If you like this video, please share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye for now.